Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Bring you guys a brand new video today, and today we are diving into the world of Pokemon Legends Arceus and some of the recent rumors that have been circulated on the internet over the last 48 hours or so. Some of these actually detailing a potential new Pokemon announcement coming very soon. So we're gonna break all that down, discuss it, tell you my thoughts and my opinions on it, and ultimately just see what's going on in the world of Pokemon. If you guys enjoy these types of rumor videos, be sure to hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as I do post Pokemon videos every single day. And again, just a fair disclosure, this is a rumor video, right? So this isn't proven true, this isn't a leak, this is a rumor. So it's information that is spreading on the internet that uh, may or may not be real, but it's fun for discussion purposes nonetheless. So take it with a grain of salt and let's jump in and see what we got. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is Eclipse underscore TT posting on Twitter some pretty interesting stuff about a potential trailer. One of the things that he mentioned is that the very first trailer should nine 28 on the Poketch app and last week on September 28th or 928 we got an actual trailer so is it possible that Pokemon and Nintendo are teasing the next trailers through the Poketch app I don't know but the most recent announcement has them showing 1009 on their Poketch app which would mean that the 8th because you have to figure Japanese time right it's gonna be the 9th in Japan but the 8th in the US, the 8th, which is actually, I'm pretty sure Friday, is the next in line for a potential announcement. Now, could this just be a coincidence? Who knows, but I think it's worth mentioning that they are using 10.09 in the poke edge. And further, Nintendo of America tweeted yesterday on October 4th, some screenshots of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and ultimately they had 10.09 on the Poke Edge app as well. Now, Eclipse goes on to state, I think this is important to throw the caveat out there. I guess a lot of times is when dates use clocks, they display 1009 because it's a pleasing aesthetic to the eye. But again, we go back, we have some precedence of them using the date. Maybe it was coincidence. Again, you guys let me know your thoughts, but just keep your eyes and ears open for Friday the 9th, or rather the 8th, Friday the 8th, it would be the 9th in Japan. I'm gonna be ready for it. There may or may not be an announcement. Could be pretty dope, so again, keep your eyes and ears open. The next thing we're gonna talk about is Centro Pokemon. Now, Centro is an account on Twitter that has multiple Twitter accounts, Centro League, Centro Pokemon, and they were kind of at the forefront of the League community going back a few years heading into Sword and Shield, and even before that, they've lost a lot of their credibility, and some people have written them off as just being complete fakes that just post whatever, and then they just try to get attention and they stay really cryptic so that way they can't really be proven wrong so again take this with a super grain of salt but anytime they post something i think it's at least worth entertaining so a couple things that they noted one is that there's still a good number of pokemon and forms that are in legends arceus that haven't been revealed that's like the most vague thing you could possibly say so again i i'm thinking that obviously there's going to be new forms and new pokemon that have yet to be revealed but here's the big thing they actually say a handful of things on their central leaks account going back a few days 2022 will be very exciting for Pokemon fans, even more than 2021 if nothing gets delayed. Now I'm thinking to myself, okay, what what does that entail? So Legends Arceus comes out in 2022. That's no surprise, but I think this is actually teasing that there could be more coming next year. And that raises a lot of questions, right? Legends Arceus drops in spring in 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 January, right? It's dropping in January. BDSP drops in fall. They're different studios, so the development time isn't really factored in there. What else could we get in 2022 that Pokemon fans would be crazy over considering this is the 25th year anniversary? Well, it's possible for Legends Arceus DLC. To me, that is the most likely scenario. Are we gonna get a Generation 9 heading into fall 2022? I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. Like, how are they gonna go into a development cycle for Legends Arceus and then drop a new generation the same year? I just, I personally just don't feel that happening. I do think that there's a very good chance that they add DLC though for Legends Arceus. So we'll see how it all plays out when all is said and done, but I wouldn't be surprised if we get an Isle of Armor, Crown Tundra type treatment for Legends Arceus when all is said and done. I think that the game sets itself up for DLC very, very well. Now they go on to post a couple other things that I find very interesting. A couple cryptic tweets, right? This is the cryptic tweets we talk about. The first thing is they show a few emojis. The first one is an arm flexing and a baby. Then they have kind of like a kimono dress and a ghost, and then they have a butterfly and a moon. Now, what are these? What what could this be? I, I mean, there's a lot of speculation that maybe the, the ghost is a frost lass, and the, the butterfly and the moon maybe is dust ox, or 
some frost moth. I mean, it, a lot of people are just kind of like, what is what does any of this mean? And then the muscles and the baby. I don't know. I saw some people talking that maybe this has to do with like a sock pre evolution. Maybe it has to do, you know, there's a lot of talks, right? A lot of people are talking about moon butterfly could be Lunala, talking about Venomoth. They're talking about muscle and baby could be Tyrogue, Machop. A lot of speculation, right? A lot of speculation. A lot of people are like, what could this mean? What is this? Wondering what's going on here. A lot of discussion about what these are. And then they go on to say some other more cryptic stuff. SE, which there's been some rumors of Pokemon Sky and Earth. I, I don't know if that has anything to do with this. P.DP, Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl, D22. Uh, I mean, what? It, we don't know what any of this means. They said you'll understand everything soon. So again, they're staying super vague, super cryptic. And time will tell if they're just kind of making things up or if they actually do have an insider here that's giving them information. If you guys have any thoughts or any deciphering going on, you can let me know in the comment section below. But again, just kind of some crazy stuff. They're just posting emojis at this point and I'm not sure what we can really make of this. If we get a new form or something, then maybe it points to these being true. But at this point, I think they're just emojis. I don't know what we're gonna really decipher from that. Further, we've got a new rumor that has been posted and I'm gonna say right off the bat, well, I think this is a really fun rumor to discuss. I am not taking this one too seriously. They say, I got fired from Pokemon Company's social team, so beep it, here you go. So the first line already kind of throws me off because if you're on the social media team, how much do you really know about the development of a game? I don't know. They said the game is set like Monster Hunter, but uh, it's a bit more open. Jubilee is your hub town. You can fast travel to the five other areas, but each of those areas can be walked normally after you travel to one. There are essentially five massive wild areas, specifically each larger than the Crown Tundra, including the galaxy settlement around Jubilee. I mean, I'll tell you, if that is the size of the game though, basically five or six, seven times what the Crown Tundra is, Crown Tundra is pretty robust. So that's a pretty sizable game, if that is true. They talk about the five areas being the Obsidian Fieldlands, Malachite Marsh, Quartz Lagoon, Garnet Plateau, and Coronet Peak. There are six Pokemon Nobles, each of which has a Warden minus Coronet Peak. They're as follows. The Obsidian Fieldlands has Cleaver, the Bug and Rock Pokemon, obviously. Malachite Marsh has Salamos, which is a new evolution of Wooper. This is a rumor. Again, just want to really clarify that. Uh, which would be really cool. Grass and ground version of Wooper would be really cool. Quartz Lagoon has Drift Marine, a ghost and water evolution of Drift Blim. So like a water jellyfish balloon. Galaxy Plateau has Yeetag, which is ice steel evolution of Snowrun. Snowrun potentially getting another evolution. Galaxy Settle it, Settlement having Quasi Bonsai, the rock fighting evolution of Pseudo Wudo, which may be the best fake Pokemon name I've ever heard. And then Coronet Peak having Matarelic, which has no type. And then it goes on to talk about this Matarelic from Coronet Peak. So this is kind of detailing out that each of the nobles is a new evolution of a previous existing Pokemon, much like Cleaver is a new evolution of obviously Scyther. Matarelic is a Pokemon that guards Hisui at the top of Coronet Peak. In the past, it protected Hisui between a battle from Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. It's the only Pokemon in the franchise that you're not able to catch or own, kind of like Gigantamax or Turn of This, but you can at least get a Turn of This. In the post game, there are missions where Matarelic will appear in Jubilife and call upon your help, which is how you catch Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina and the other legendaries. Then it goes on to detail the starter evolutions, which again, this is a rumor. I genuinely believe at this point we are getting new evolutions for starters, by the way. I'm just gonna say that. I think that Oshawa, Rowlet, and Cyndaquil are evolving into something different. I, I really believe that. I could be wrong, but I really believe that at this point. This says Oshawa's final evolution is Yamawat, which is a ground and water type, which is, we've seen that type a lot. Rowlet's final evolution is Ar Arbaro, which is steel and grass. And Cyndaquil's final evolution is now Volcano, or Volcano, rock and fire. So interesting rock and fire. We already know that the new Growlithe is rock and fire. I mean, obviously a lot of people have speculated that if Cyndaquil is going to evolve, it's going to be rock and fire, or ground and fire. So a lot of interesting stuff here. This rumor, I definitely take with a grain of salt. The Centro stuff, I, you know, time is going to tell on that. I do feel like recapping the ninth. We're going to keep an eye out and see if that's a coincidence or something to be mindful of. Them teasing the next like trailer on the Poketch. 
I don't know. It would be the eighth again in the US, ninth in Japan. Some interesting stuff. I figured I'd give you guys a fun recap. So that's pretty much everything going on in the world of Pokemon Legends Arceus and BDSP rumors. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and have some fun deciphering those emojis. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. That's it for your Pokemon news and rumors for today. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.